I'm wondering, with all things being equal, speakers, rooms, subs, amplification, how much variation will the processing abilities of an AVR or pre-pro processor play over and above room EQ? For instance, for instance an entry-level AVR versus a flagship AVR. Both using full pre-outs to same amps. Both using same room EQ and target curves. Both in the same room with the same speakers in the same positions. I'm trying to get my head around how much room EQ equalizes the equation. Do things like better DACs and better preamp stages play a role in the audible differences once you've added room EQ to the equation? So this is an interesting question. Um, it's not something that I would normally think to answer, but let's, let's maybe think about this as um, all home theaters, all media rooms, all two-channel rooms are a set of compromises. And we can think of the performance attributes of the system, the things that we perceive as good sound, um, as falling into certain buckets, right? So EQ, room EQ, is really has nothing to do with things like the DAC and the preamp and the amplifier. Room EQ's purpose does not do things like reduce noise, increase drive level, reduce distortion, etc. What it's doing is improving things like the frequency response of the system in the room. And so if we were to try to create a ranking of the things that matter most, for most people, the frequency response of the system, the amplitude response of the system, would probably be the first and most dominant factor. 